the topic which is very close to my heart. The topic is building entrepreneurs culture at universities for industrial and economic development of Sindh. And my esteemed presenter is Mr. Azhar Rizvi sir. Azhar Rizvi is a seasoned professional who is an entrepreneur, evangelist, serial entrepreneur, business and strategy consultant, coach, and social missionary and author of books. He has devoted his life to helping people and organization to innovate smartly and achieve high growth targets. Azhar Rizvi sahab ke baare mein mein aapko bata hoon ke 2006 mein meri inse pehli martaba mulaqaid ho thi. Us waqt noh ne MIT ka ek entrepreneur forum. Pehli martaba MIT US ki organization uske alumni ne establish ki thi Pakistan mein and that association and together with other initiatives that Azhar sahab has taken over the course of time, he is able to create a pool of 4,000 people who have become entrepreneur through the work that he has done through the business acceleration programs that he has launched and he is instrumental in bringing around 500 million US dollar worth of investment in Pakistan and I'm glad to tell you that most of this investment has actually come to Sindh. So Azhar Saab has a lot of contributions uh, for the people of Sindh and he's very passionate about the work that he's doing. So without a further ado, uh, I would request Azhar Rizvi Saab to please uh, talk a few words and give you a presentation. Thank you. Azhar Saab, we are not hearing you. Can you hear me now? Asalaamu Alaikum. Yeah, Wa Alaikum Asalaam. Now we can hear you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much for such a wonderful introduction. Uh, all I can say is that Allah ka bada karam hai ki I have been able to serve my country, my province, uh, in the best of abilities that He has given me, Alhamdulillah. And the journey still continues. It seems like I've just started, although working for now 15 to 16 years, but just like I've just started, Alhamdulillah. So let me briefly tell you, as Masood Bhai just said, ke started, before that I had been working for NCR, at and in UNSS, came back from University of Houston, worked for multinationals for 8 to 10 years, and then came a time when I was left with no opportunity to either move to Singapore, to Compaq Computer Asia, or Microsoft in Dubai, or do something on my own. So in 1999, I established my first business, Alhamdulillah. Uh, took it from two to two people, ten thousand to two million dollars, and then came the dot com crash again, went down uh, to two people, and then started another again company in 2001, automated the whole of uh, Habib Bank, and that gave me an overview of the massive opportunities all over Pakistan because then I had to automate branches in 1500 cities, close to 2000 branches, 800 to 1000 cities. Um, I had to hire 1,500 people, all locals in various locations. And being an urbanite, uh, born in Karachi, then went to, lived in Multan and Lahore, area where my father was posted, but always among the urbanites, never had the flavor of the rural life and the talent and potential we have. Had a lot of respect, but talent was ambiguous to me. And that's when I realized that we have so much talent in this country. Uh, so uh, did that, uh, and then there was a realization that the company went from 202 people to 1500 people from 12 lakh se 150 crore rupees but then there is another realization ke is mulk mein agar middle class ke logo par aate hain then there is nobody there to support them and that's when i said i prayed to almighty he was very kind and he connected with mit so from 2006 to 2016 15 i kept on working with mit created a program called mit business acceleration program MIT offered me to run their program, which was a startup competition, 100K, and for which they used to charge $2 million per year. Uh, but I said, look, uh, when I went there for training, came back, I said, look, we cannot do that program. One, we don't have resources. Second, we don't have any startup mindset. So we have to work on acceleration program. They didn't have one. We built it. Alhamdulillah, they approved it, gave us the label. Now it is running in 26 countries, Alhamdulillah. <clears throat> so we trained 450 companies starting with 15, then 20, and 150. Slowly people start coming to us, small and big. Uh, the whole idea was to create some role models. 
So let me be very honest. At the onset, when I started this journey with MIT, I prayed to Almighty, just give me five companies, a million dollar each revenue in five years, and I'll be happy. But in five years, I had trained 250 companies, and we had already crossed $1.2 billion worth of valuation. Alhamdulillah. Further, as we moved along, Alhamdulillah, Allah Ta'ala helped us with other achievements. I personally feel that entrepreneurship can be taught, but it has to have a six months of minimum incubation time, duration time, when it has to be trained by the trainers, by mentors, by coaches. So this whole program that we have been doing uh, for the past, uh, God knows, 8, 16, 14 years now. Then in 2010, uh, Ishad he is, was the uh, uh, director of IBA Karachi. He said, okay, look, you have been doing so much and I have been coming to your programs and I have seen the kids coming with $100,000 revenue in 2007. In 2010, they are saying they have got a $10 million revenue. So what are you doing? By then, I had not given anyone any funding because I personally feel that our country does not need any funding. We are the richest country in the world. In terms of human resources, in terms of financial resources, in terms of anything, agriculture, whatever you see, we have the best in this world. All we need is, and what I have done in the last 16 years, if you want one word, that is mindset. My program always starts with change the mindset. If we can help to change the mindset of our people, and the process completes when they get self-esteem. So we have a negative mindset and we lack self-esteem. Convert this into positive mindset and a lot of self-esteem, you will have a different country. And the people I've worked with, 50,000 students. So anyway, start with uh, IBA Karachi and then 65 universities. That's where I met one of the finest person who has come across my life is Nisar uh, Siddiqui Bhai Maroom of uh, IBA Sakhar. I said, Sakhar, I'll come. I said, I'll come. I'll take a ticket. I'll come. 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 So I started going to Sakhar. Almost twice a year, thrice a year. I was going there. I was doing my work. One other friend of mine, Ali Rizvi, was there. When I went to Shivning Scholarship, I was going to do a PhD. He was there. Then came Jal Nazgar. And he was a NASC director. He was there. So then I picked two universities. North was NASC. South was IBA Karachi. And then we reached 65 universities. So I've been to around 35, 40 cities, starting from Quetta up to Malakan. And once again, my, my, my belief in this nation, belief in this country has quadrupled, multiplied 10x, 100x, nx, that we have everything which we need over here. Then came stage two, as I said, stage one, stage two, stage three. Then the you know, uh, uh, HEC said, KR kuch karo, hamai saath kaam. So we establish Oryx. So I just forget that the Oryx here on 52, they, by the grace of Allah, I have been instrumental in that. So I wrote the policy of Oryx incubation centers, and that gave me the honor of training PhDs. So around 1,000 PhDs, uh, training them on how to uh, commercialize the research. The biggest problem in our university is that we have probably one of the best professors and PhDs, and especially who have come from abroad, but they have been sort of incubated in an environment which is rich of resources. So you have a Norway ke ya China ke ya USA ke ya Russia ke PhD ko la ke Pakistan ne bithate hain wo aise hi hai ki aapne ek whale machli ko talab mein band kar diya hai aur aapko sare kartab bhi dikhane so after a while that talab mein machli jo hoti hai wo get confused hone lagti hai theek hai na ijaz shef sahi muskurane ki isi liye nahi aate talab ke andar shayad so basically ye problem rehti hai wo kiya और 2004 तक फिर माशाल्लाह 16 तक मैंने ये सारे काम किए हुआ ये 2016 में आई वेंट टू परफॉर्म उमरा और मेरी ख्वाहिश होती कि 27वीं शब को उमरा करूं बेगम साहिबा कहती हैं बूढ़े हो गए भाई संडे ऑफ में करके आ जाए करो आई हैड अ बैड एक्सीडेंट एंड आई केम बैक एंड एंड वाज इन बेड फॉर ऑलमोस्ट एन ईयर एंड हाफ जब खड़ा हुआ डॉक्टर ने कहा दादा चलना फिरना नहीं है तो एसबीआई सिंह बोर्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट में नाहिद मेमन थी और एसबीए एसईडीएफ में मैहुल हक थे उन्होंने कहा यार Tandujam mein kaam puro. Or baadha mein sochta hoon ki achcha hi hua because that gave me an opportunity to write my first book which is Entrepreneuring Pakistan. It has 27 stories and all of these are my mentees. And they are from, from uh, they are technology companies, they are technology companies, they are researchers, they are students, everyone. 
and by the way uh, let me probably brag again the first story uh, sophie uh, first story of so softronics uh, farhan masood who came to us in 2012 it's now a 1.2 billion dollar company the second company is uh, uh, hamari web uh, again they came with 500 million viewers but only 1 million dollar valuation they have crossed 385 million dollars mashallah so you have tons of case studies tons of uh, uh, i'd like the professor sitting abroad to please uh, work with us and see how uh, companies in developing world they can go from a few 100000 dollars 100000 dollars to multi million dollars and now they are crossing a billion dollar so in 2016 onwards uh, 17 mid on the bed then onward going to tando jam and alhamdulillah the experience was marvelous i have been inducted into a, a president of pakistan's uh, <clears throat> committee on entrepreneurship and all that uh, development and i said look uh, the biggest area that we need to work is 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 agriculture and i'll tell you why then in 2018 onwards now at the moment i'm working on three great initiatives one is blue economy initiative with the chief of naval staff yes soon in chala 23rd of march we are launching a chief of the naval staff blue economy initiative in which we want to promote blue economy at universities and industry and all that second is agri sector still my love and i am working with the zarit rakhiyati bank how can we reach 500000 people around the country and give them small loans so that they can have their agri entrepreneurship program an education development network well i'd like all of you to join this so that we can train you see we think too much about higher education and i do too and i work with them but what i have realized recently is that there is a great responsibility for all of us to work with these students i mean we go to sind i go to sind i drive all the way to tando jam or ladakano wherever i go i see abject poverty and i see young boys and girls young boys girls not young boys and men sitting at these chai khanas and absolutely doing nothing so how to integrate them and i have fortunately come up with an idea which i'll share with you inshallah so that we can do that so we need to do a lot of work in that space uh, so <clears throat> this is uh, some of the government bodies i work with local international academy industry alhamdulillah so whole triple helix experience that we have been able to acquire the uh, prime minister the president they all have been coming to these program they have been patronizing without their support absolutely no way i could have done it so it's a team work from top to bottom i would not blame the government or the industry or the academia i think they have all played a role It's because i always went to everyone with a positive mindset and allah then gives you this they will all work with you i don't see any reason why we have any issue with the government uh, so working with agriculture brought me to sing in the sense that i started looking at what is going on so when i did my research i came to see that sing almost provide 36% or 33% of gdp resources you see and 70 95% so we provide 26% of rice and 32% of cotton and 95% of fisheries Uh, and the fruits again that 28 30% population of 23% but we have 52% malnutrition and 62% of stunting what is going on sin what is going on why is it happening so the only reason is that we are not focusing on the core problem and what i teach when i go to the class i have been teaching that again from the word go that my punch line is that uh, i come to tando jam <coughs> i'll i'll talk about it so my punch line is building product services for the nation builders so when i'm give so i have developed training programs for when i work in any sector i focus on that sector and then customize my whole training program so if i am teaching uh, students for the agriculture sector i have to learn a lot right now i'm teaching healthcare entrepreneurship dow medical university so i had to learn a lot about healthcare itself how to teach healthcare entrepreneurship so the punch line is and for all of you today i would like to take this thought with you how to build nation builders how to serve nation builders who are the nation builders i get very interesting comments 
and I don't put this slide only in nation builders. So when I, I also work with the defense sector and I teach PhDs uh, in the defense research sector on how to commercialize defense search into, uh, into uh, building product services for the nation builders. When I ask them who are the nation builders, the first answer is armed forces. I say no, they're defenders. Then they say teachers. I say no, they are just the thought changer, they are the, but they, they are not the nation builders. Students, they are the futures. Then who are the nation builders? Ladies and gentlemen, the nation builders are 70 percent population below, living below the poverty line, getting 200 rupees a day, but paying 80 percent of indirect taxes. And then the remaining who leave this country, they send us 26 billion dollars. So all the mobile phones and the cars and all the luxuries and the PC one that we make, they are all because of these folks. ये तो शुक्र है हमारे मौलाना ने इनको बेवकूफ बनाया हुआ जन्नत के चक्कर में बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ देम आर लिविंग विद वन रीजन के जी अल्लाह भूखे रहेंगे कपड़े फटे हुए होंगे नबी की तरह उसकी तरह तो हम जन्नत में जाएंगे अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी हैव फूल देम एंड दे आर फूल अदर्स वाई अर्ना है हमारे घरों में नहीं कूद रहे एनी वे नेशन बिल्ड आर दीज पीपल सो कमिंग बैक टू टंडो जाम इट वॉज अ वंडरफुल एक्सपीरियंस माई डियर ब्रदर मुजीबुद्दीन सराई साहब जो मुझसे उम्र में एक साल छोटे भी हैं जैसे ही उनको पता चला तो बड़ा भाई बना लिया तो माय यंगर ब्रदर मुजीबुद्दीन सराई साहब रियली वाज आउटस्टैंडिंग तीन साल दो साल मैंने वहाँ काम किया और एक और मेरे दोस्त है इसमाइल खुम्बर साहब ही इज दी और एक डायरेक्टर थे अनदर डियर फ्रेंड एंड हु वॉज लकीली ही वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ माई ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व इन विच आई ट्रेन द और एक डायरेक्टर्स एन आई वेन दे फॉर द प्रोग्राम आई वॉज सरप्राइज कि जो मैंने मॉडल पढ़ाया था वो डिटो उन्होंने वहाँ पर उसको माशा डेवलप किया है एंड एक्सट्रीमली बेनिफिशियल वो वर्किंग विद द इंडस्ट्री सो वी डिट अ फाइव मंथ एंटरप्रोनरशिप प्रोग्राम डेवलप किया उसको पाँच सौ स्टूडेंट्स आए बीस टीम्स ने इसमें पार्टिसपेट किया पाँच टीम को हमने इनक्यूबेट किया सिन बोर्ड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट ने सी डी एफ ने पाँच पाँच लाख रुपये पर टीम दिए एक एकड़ लैंड था ईस्ट टीम और फिर वहाँ पे जो पांच प्रोडक्ट्स थे उसमें टनल फार्मिंग था ड्रिप फार्मिंग थी कंपोस्ट फर्टिलाइजर था सीड्स का था और सत्तू फॉर थर बिकॉज बच्चों को पढ़ाया यही सारा कुछ मैंने कि आपने कैसे काम करना है आम आदमी के लिए और उस दौरान फिर आई वॉज क्योंकि पाँच महीने जब आप काम करते हैं छः महीने फैकल्टी के साथ तो आई वॉज एबल टू यूज़ माई आप कहना ना uh, उनके साथ मोटिवेशन टू दे मैं ऐसा क्यों लुक यार ऐसे कैसे काम चलेगा यूनिवर्सिटी आते हो चले जाते हो पैसे कमा रहे हो लेट्स फोकस ऑन बिल्डिंग वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम आई एम एक्सट्रीमली ग्लैड टू टेल यू वी हैव एन एक्सलेंट फाइव और सिक्स एरिया में वोकेशनल ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम जिसमें आप पाँचवीं जमात से लेके दसवीं जमात तक के बच्चों को लाएँ और उन्हें छः महीने के अंदर ड्रिप फार्मिंग सिखाएँ टनल फार्मिंग सिखाएँ कंपोस्ट मैनुफैक्चरिंग सिखाएँ एज शॉर्ट एज थ्री मंथ्स I think the universities now should engage in working with the huge bulge of young youngsters, youth, जो कुछ नहीं कर रहे हैं और वो बिल्कुल तबाह बर्बाद हो रहे हैं ठीक है और सिंध के अंदर बहुत बुरे हालात हैं पंजाब भी जाता हूँ मैं इतने बुरे हालात नहीं के पी के जाता हूँ कहीं चला जाऊँ बलुचस्तान में एक दफ़ा एक दफ़ा ही गया हूँ और फिर मुझे उन्होंने मना कर दिया मत आइए बट आई एम श्योर वहाँ भी वही हालात होंगे I think Sin need to wake up. The university needs to wake up, and we need to start developing vocational training program for the youth of this country, and especially in the agri sector. If you have any any, if there is any issue, hai, aap mujhe bataiye. Main aap saath kam karunga. Ismail Khumbar ko phone kijiye doctor saab ko. Wo aap saath kam karenge. Puri faculty tando jam ki. Ab mujhe gave ek saal ho gaya hai. वो उसकी वजह बाद बताऊंगा क्यों लेकिन बहरहाल बेसिकली ये सब काम बहुत जरूरी है अदर साहब यू हैव फाइव मोर मिनट्स प्लीज ओके थैंक यू सर अच्छा तो ना द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट आई हैव डेवलप्ड आई हैव कॉल्ड इट स्टार्टअप सिंध ठीक है इसको 2020 में करना था नहीं कर सका इसके तीन फोकस हैं ठीक है एक है इनोवेट सिंध इनोवेट सिंध मॉडल किया मैंने जी के ऊपर ये यू स्टेट पॉइंट के लिए मैंने काम किया था तो 43 मुस्लिम कंट्रीज़ के लिए प्रोग्राम पूरा बनाया था करना क्या है जी कि आपने इनोवेट सिंध के अंदर एक साइकिल राइन करना है पाँच से दो 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 महीने का जिसमें आपने ऑनलाइन लोगों को इनवाइट करना है टू कम अप विद ग्रेट आइडियाज एंड दे शुड बी नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन दे केन बी अनएजुकेटेड पाँचवीं जमात पर दसवीं जमात पर पंद्रहवीं जमात डजन मैटर इफ़ यू हैव एन आइडिया कम ऑन बोर्ड आप आगे इसको प्रेजेंट कीजिए वी विल स्टार्ट अ वोटिंग प्रोग्राम पूरा एक प्रोग्राम है डेवलप्ड है ये मैं पहले कर चुका हूँ और जगहों पे ये कर सकते हैं ठीक है जी और उसमें ये पूरा एक इसका साइकिल है हर साइकिल के बाद दो महीने बाद आप 
पंद्रह बीस लोगों को इसके अंदर अवार्ड दे सकते हैं द होल आइडिया इज दैट एवरी चाइल्ड शॉप शुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एवरी यंग मैन शुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस लेट दम वर्क ऑन इनोवेटिंग सिंथ ठीक है पूरा ये इसका एक पोर्टल मैंने तैयार कर लिया है फिर आ जाता है आपका एंटरप्राइज सिंथ एंटरप्राइज सिंध के अंदर वर्क विद द यूनिवर्सिटीज वही प्रोग्राम जो मैं पाँच महीने करता हूँ उसका एक पूरा प्रोसेस है ठीक है ये पूरा एक साइकिल है इसके अंदर आप बुलाते हैं इनको मेंटर करते हैं कोच करते हैं बिजनेस प्लान डेवलप करवाते हैं कंप्लीट करते हैं इस दौरान इसके अंदर एक सेक्शन ये है कि दे हैव टू गेट एन इंडस्ट्री पार्टनर एंड विद देम दे कैन मूव अलॉन्ग एंड मूव फॉरवर्ड फिर आ गया बिल्ड सिंध का इसका ये हमने किया है कि जी इन सारे प्रोग्राम्स के बाद साल के आखिर में एक आ, एक कॉन्फ्रेंस हो जिसके अंदर आप स्पीकर बुलाएं इसमें आप विनर्स बुलाएं ये प्रोग्राम आप तीन से चार साल करें तो इन क्रिएट एन इको एंड रिवॉर्ड ताकि आप लोगों को प्रमोट कर सकें ठीक है ना क्रिएट एटलीस्ट टेन सक्सेस स्टोरीज ये मैं हमेशा अपने जो टारगेट्स होते हैं कम रखता हूँ तो मैं जब टेन स्टोरीज कह रहा हूँ अल्लाह से उम्मीद कर रहा हूँ कि हंड्रेड मिलेंगे आपको ठीक है नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स ठीक फिर इम्प्रूव आंटरप्रोनरशिप सिस्टम बाई कनेक्टिंग यूथ विद आइडियाज रेलिवेंट टू सर्कमस्टांसिस ठीक है रिसर्चर्स इंटरेस्टिंग मैंडर्स इन्वेस्टिंग प्लेस वी नीड टू बिल्ड प्रोडक्ट सर्विस फॉर सिंध वी नीड टू बिल्ड प्रोडक्ट सर्विसज With resources available in Sindh, and we need to build product services for people living in Sindh. पहले Sindh को मजबूत करें, Sindh को strong करें. हमारा target क्या होना चाहिए? अगर simple term में कहूँ, हम सब सोचना शुरू करें कि 200 रुपए से 1000 रुपए, from two dollars to ten dollars. The next five years, our goal should be self-esteem. ठीक है जी? Motivate them, mindset change positive, self-esteem, and try to build an economy which should cater to 2000. 30,000 rupees per month for our common man. If we all can do that collectively from our universities, giving them five-year project, inshallah, I can assure you, the uh, time will come in the next five, ten years when sin, that uh, the common will be affluent, or all these other things will be inshallah. You, just the people, we can all meet and develop this. Thank you very much, Kaiz. Uh, my time is up. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the such a great, wonderful insight. जितना काम आपने सिंध के लिए किया है जो इको सिस्टम आप बनाने जा रहे हैं आई एम श्योर के देर विल बी लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु आर सिटिंग हियर आर लिसनिंग यू लाइव ऑन फेसबुक एंड यूट्यूब आई एम श्योर दे विल कम अप दे विल कम फॉरवर्ड दे विल वर्क विथ यू एंड इन शाह वी विल क्रिएट अ ग्रेट प्लेस इन सिंध फॉर हेल्पिंग पीपल इन नीड बिकॉज हमारे सिंध में इस वक्त जिस चीज की कमी है जो सब आपने बिल्कुल सही कहा कि अगर हम गांव में जाते हैं तो हम देखते हैं कि बच्चे बैठे हुए हैं कोई काम नहीं कर रहे हैं वी हैव टू चेंज द माइंडसेट और उस माइंडसेट को चेंज करने के लिए वी हैव टू ब्रिंग अ रेवल्यूशन और जिस रेवल्यूशन की आप बात कर रहे हैं जो प्रैक्टिकल है जो पॉसिबल है जिसको हम मिलकर कर सकते हैं इनशाला वी विल ऑल बी टूगेदर इन मेकिंग सिद मोर प्रॉस्पेरस एंड मोर Empowered as a nation. So thank you very much, Azhar Sir, for your great insight. Uh, over thank you so much. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you very much. Mother, one thing to say. Can I do? One thing to say. Can I do? That this project, for this, there is no funding needed from the government. We absolutely don't need any funds. Wonderful.